Good morning. Yep, it's still morning. Um, I'm back from visiting Polly. He's in ICU at local hospital. Um, they are watching his heart. He's on heart medication, blood thinners, uh, so all sorts of different things um, in order to resolve the shortness of breath and um, a cardiologist is supposed to be seeing him today. Later this afternoon, um, I did, while I was there, they um, had done a, uh, not an EKG. I took a photograph, I took a snapshot of the board because when someone's in ICU, they write down all the things that are going to be happening and um, he's, he's awake, he's conscious, there's, you know, he seems fine, but there's obviously underlining issues that are going on. And um, just so I wouldn't forget, I took a snapshot uh, that included his phone number, you know, direct number there, the nurse that's treating him, the doctor um, on rounds, and hopefully the cardiologist. Polly will give me a call when the cardiologist is scheduled to come uh, come to talk to him. It's not an EKG. I'm having a brain fart. It's an ultrasound test of his heart, um, echocardiogram. I couldn't think of a word. Um, and yeah, that seems like there's something heart related and if that's the case it could be a little bit more of an involved issue. He's breathing fine now. Um, they're going to be doing a mini uh, sleep study tonight just to see his stats dropped last night when he was while he was sleeping because the nurses found uh, noticed that he takes pauses in between sleeping so he never really reaches good solid REM sleep. I've been saying this to him for a long time. That's why I think he's been sitting on the side of the bed sleeping. Um, and oh, well, you know, he's being he's he's being cared for, so that I'm thankful for that. So I have a couple of administrative things to do. I have to co contact his work, um, fill out some paperwork for short-term disability, all sorts of things. He's going to be there for a few days two to three days. I guess it all depends on what they find, um, what they see with his heart. Um, they also found some fluid in his lungs, which they're going to resolve by using this machine that he could use himself, and they will send him home with it so he can continue to do that until his lungs are nice and clear, which could be, you know, the, uh, another complication of why he has shortness of breath. So I've caught you up on what's going on. I've also uh, swung by my parents' house, dropped off all the stuff that was in my car, so my car is now nice and empty and I got a little irritated with mom and dad because they have a, a condo they moved into has two sets of stairs so to make things easier I pulled around their garage to let them you know to unload all the boxes and stuff but then pulled back around the front of the place which is kind of an odd tricky thing around the corner of the complex uh, to drop off the table and chairs for the patio for the for their balcony rather than have to schlep him up a set of stairs, which is brilliant. So then I pulled around and I went to go park and mom's like, oh, I'll park on the other side of my car. I think I'm just irritated. I haven't had anything to eat. It's um, after 11, I'm very, very thirsty. So I'm gonna go make myself um, a drink with probably bananas and blueberries and white grape juice like I did yesterday. I really enjoyed that. And as you could see, I haven't even opened the chickens. That's how early I left this morning. So I hung out with him at the hospital for a while, talked to the nurse, you know, the nurse talked to me. He is not a good patient. He just, he, it's not that he's belligerent, he doesn't swear, but he's just ornery. And I told him, I said, you better treat the nursing staff well because they're taking care of your butt, literally. So you be good to them and I'm sure his mom will say the same thing. So that's the other thing I need to do. I need to call Esther, let her know what's going on, fill her in, give her the phone number for him. Um, I did bring him his little charger, which is the picture I posted on Facebook and I don't know if I posted on Instagram. I didn't take photographs of him. I didn't videotape anything um, inside the hospital it's for privacy reasons. It's, you know, there are people, you know, he's in a private room in ICU, but there are people who are literally, you know, screaming in pain in the background. So not anything anyone needs to hear or see. So uh, I'm trying, you know, I'm being considerate of others. He's not the only one in there. So if he feels like it, he might be on camera later, but you know, it all depends on how things um, unfold and what we find out. So 
I'm going to go take care of myself now and the chickens, open them up. I've let the dogs out and fed them before I left, but... Oh, and I see there's a red tomato. <gasps> there's a red tomato. Yay. So, yeah. Oh, and I have to tie up the tomatoes. I feel like there's never any downtime for me. Although, I, when I went up to bed last night, it was like 11.30, which is very early for me. And I completely zonked out. But then I woke up with a startle at 7 o'clock exactly. So my internal clock must still be ticking away and working. So let me go make myself some... Oh, and I did... Um, Polly requested a toasted bagel with cream cheese. And they wouldn't let me give it to him. No outside food. I did give him... I was able to give him his juice. Because he's on his restricted fluids as well. Until I figure out where the extra fluid is coming from in his belly. So... Yeah, the fun things. Uh, yeah. We need to take better care of ourselves. So, and I'm going to do just that next. Well, I'm back to go see Polly. So I printed off some free crossword puzzles for him. I have some snacks, which are just dried fruit. So I know he's bored, but he doesn't really, can't really, he said he can't really concentrate on reading a book. So I thought this might help. I even printed off the cheat sheets. <laughs> Is that silly? Alright, I'll see if he's up to company. I'll bring all my stuff in with me, but if I don't film inside, you guys will understand. I'm home. I'm making myself some salad. Lettuce from our garden, tomato, cucumbers. Um, the tomato and cucumbers are from our friend's garden, not from ours. I'm making my ponzu dressing, so it's uh, peanut oil. Uh, ponzu dressing, four tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And I was going to try and add some kefir cheese, but I think I'm gonna hold off. I really love this flavor and I would hate to waste that if it tastes gnarly or it just doesn't taste good. So I'm gonna dress it. I'm gonna eat that whole salad by myself because Polly had his dinner at the hospital. He had the most disgusting chicken noodle soup that had no flavor and some steamed broccoli that was cold. Yeah, stop breathing on my leg, Moses. This this guy right here has the hottest breath on record. It's because I was peeling cucumbers and he really likes them. Oh look, you could see the delineation between oil, yeast, and the ponzu. Science! And there's my finished dinner. I was debating about opening some chicken in a can, but I don't know if I want any of that. So I'm going to eat that. If I'm still hungry, I might do it then. So this might be it for me for today. Don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and it helps me out. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching everyone.